All right, people, welcome back to another video. All right, guys, so today I just got some more essential tips for you guys just to help you with a smoother experience while using the Legion Go. Might boost your experience as well, give you a little boost in like speed at how you use the system and more efficient, right? If you get what I'm saying. So, as you guys may know, an update came out today for Legion Space. If you go into Legion Space, it should automatically update. If it don't update, then just close the app and boot it up then you should see the update and then you can update from there right so when you get the update if you go in here version 1.0.2 i'm hearing there's a different version that's out there but no big difference slightly the same thing on the system all right so first thing i want you guys to do just to speed up the system to make you faster into the legion goal and faster to your games right so you can get into your games directly as fast as possible all right um before i do that guys please hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more awesome content guys drop a comment down below let me know what you think all right since i'm already here guys so if you go into legion space this is where the new update that came out go to settings then general if you come in here you see boot automatically into legion space you can disable this this gives you like a faster boot time so you get into your game as fast as possible and you don't have to go to that long screen video that they have going on that they had before right with the update that came out the system is kind of smoother and legion space is more they give it a darker look so i like it it's more sleeker right so nothing major just mainly the look and everything look more sharper than before so if you go back everything looks sharper and better the the graphics is kind of smaller but it looks better to me to my opinion so the next thing i want to show you guys is to how to use the triggers and the thumbsticks to navigate the system if you don't got a keyboard and a mouse right so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that and how to get that set up so you could navigate the system using that so you need steam for this to work so first you just got to go into steam when you get into steam and you go to settings then you go to controller when you get here you just want to make sure you got enable steam input xbox controller right enable that then you scroll down you go to desktop layout then you go to edit when you get to edit this is when you this is what you're going to see then you see official layout for desktop configuration that's what you need to have this don't really matter but you have it anywhere between this if you go to edit layout this way you could change like the buttons and everything that you have click back once you got that selected you go back here now if you now you control your mouse and guys you got it you have to have steam open for this to work and then you could also right click left click using the trigger and it open up this so you can use it as a navigation navigation system if you don't have a keyboard right you could right click to open up stuff see and then you can navigate just like that if you want to do it like that guys so if you don't have keyboard or mouse and you just rocking with the regular mouse then you can do it like that next thing i want to show you guys is just how to put up all the command so if you're doing stuff and you're not trying to figure out what to do when you don't know what the buttons the layouts are, you press the space button right here. Then you press the left bumper and it's going to bring up, bring up the command, right? It shows you everything here, how to navigate the system and stuff like that. Next, I'm going to show you guys. So if you're in a game and you want to do change the TDP real quick, all you have to do, you just got to hold the space button and Y. And it's gonna switch between each mode. If you can look below, you see search from auto, performance, and everything. Silent. And you can also look if you look at the top, it's switching the colors as well on the button. And that's just a quick way how to change the TDP in a fly, guys. Alright, so next thing I want to show you guys. I know everyone been having issues with the speaker, they don't really like it because it's not loud enough or no bass, nothing like that. It's like shooting away from you. So it's not coming towards you like the ROG Ally. Because the ROG Ally has it in the front. So the speakers are coming towards you. I'm guessing they couldn't do that with the Legion Go. Because the controls are detachable. 
plus you can't fit it on the screen if they did it would have to put it in a corner and then that wouldn't be feasible because it wouldn't be loud enough so they put it up top right so how you want to fix this is you go here all you, do, all you have to do is search for real real tech which is this you go here then you go to speakers when you get the speakers you want to make sure omni speaker is on and then you want to follow this equalizer layout right here this boosts your audio and the quality so you could hear like everything better with this equalizer right here it's not going to be as good as the rg ally but it's still good give you a better quality than what you get out of the box next thing i want to show you guys how to do a quick check for update on your system most people don't know how to do it because lenovo, lenovo don't out the box show you easily how to do it just like the rg ally you could just go to legion you could just go to armor crate and then hit the upgrade update button and then you'll get an update but here you gotta do it manually or you just gotta know what i'm about to show you right now right so if you go so if you click the menu button just gotta go to question mark then you go down here lenovo solutions then you hit that then it should bring up a screen for you when you get here right if it's the first time coming in here it's gonna ask you to scan you just gotta scan it so you could recognize the device and find your device so once you click on that you get in here guys you just go down go to drivers and software then you can scan for automatic update once you scan it's going to search the nova database for any updates drivers and stuff like that then you could install it directly from here instead of you doing it a manual way right since they've been releasing all the drivers now i mean they're like a step behind like the rogue ally but they're, they're coming guys just look out for them they're coming so look for the updates and then the system should be up and running smoothly in a couple months guys next guys I want to show you guys how to get a better on-screen keyboard let me plug this out so with the keyboard that you get out of the box when you just get the system it's like a regular tablet keyboard if you want to get the full keyboard you just gotta go here you bring it up you go here when you get here you get a keyboard layouts then you go to traditional keyboard with this keyboard right here you get the full keyboard that you get on a regular computer right so everything is here if you're trying to do f1 out and any stuff like that that you got to do on like a pc you got it right here on your screen instead you have to get a, a physical keyboard you could do it on the screen with this keyboard so yeah guys so that's about it that's a quick video i want to show you guys just some easy tips and tricks just to get your system up and running using uh, getting a better smoother experience out of the Lenovo go give you like a faster boot time so that's basically it so yeah guys so thanks for tuning in remember to always say guys drop a comment down below hit that like button stop the channel for more awesome content guys and remember to always say guys health is world peace and love i'm out